Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. First of all, if you're new here, I post new book reviews on a wide variety of topics in a wide variety of genres, so if you are looking to follow book reviews, then feel free to stick around. Now let's talk about the book I am reviewing today, which is volume 18 in the series Kaguya-sama Love is War. This was a series that was recommended to me by a viewer as well as a friend, and I have been reading it and absolutely loving it. It is a laugh out loud sort of series that also has an emotional romantic aspect that I think the author balances really well, and I am, as you can tell, already on volume 18, so loving this series. A brief overview uh, of the series thus far, though I will say that I'm going to assume you're a little familiar with the series at this point, and I'm going to gloss over some plot points. If you're not familiar with the series, you can go back and watch my reviews from volume one. But the series thus far revolves around Shinomiya and Shirogane, who are a student council vice president and president who have fallen in love with each other. And after a wide variety of various games to get the other person to confess, they have confessed to each other and they are now dating. Kaguya comes from a very wealthy family, where Shirogane comes from a more normal middle class, um, maybe a little bit below middle class family. And Kaguya is not able to be open about her relationship due to her family's level of control they exert in her life, but these two characters are trying to make the best of this high school relationship in a very, very funny series that is very well written in my personal opinion. Volume 18 though has a twist. Volume 18 was quite a surprising volume, I think. I did not see the twist coming. Well, I saw a little foreshadowing at one point, which I will get into. This volume had the usual hijinks. There was the whole scene where all the kids were trying to tie a cherry stem in their mouth with their like tongue and this is something I've never been able to um, do but it, it it's supposed to mean certain things I'm sure if you know um, there's a volleyball match that Yu Ishigami is trying to win so we can take this girl on a date and Hafujiwara is involved in having some flashbacks to when she was trying to coach Shirogane on a volleyball uh, Yu Ishigami actually winds up getting a date and going on a date so there's all the usual hijinks that feel very lighthearted that feel fun um, but then the twist happens and there was actually a moment and I don't remember if it was in volume 18 or if it was in volume 19 because I read these so close together but there's a moment where Kaguya is explaining like in her head or in like the third point third point or third person narrative voice how she decides that she trusts people she tells someone a little secret and then she that no one else knows and then she waits some time and then she asks one of that person's close friends or she tells the secret out loud to one of those person's close friends basically she's trying to see if someone will leak a rumor that she has given to someone that could be kind of juicy she does come from a wealthy family with a lot of status so it could be interesting for people to spread gossip about someone like that so this is how she tests people to see if they are going to be honest with her and she has a list, there's a little list that's shown of people she's tested in the past as well as people that she actually hasn't tested at all because she kind of trusts them to not review, reveal her secrets. And there was a person, on, there were some people on the list that I was like, okay, we, I don't think that she would have tested that individual or for whatever reason didn't surprise me, but there were a couple that did surprise me. And I was like, I'm surprised that she hasn't tested the loyalty of these individuals who are in her life. And that was just like a, a little ping, but I didn't think anything more of it until we get partway through the series where there is a twist. We come to learn that an individual who she thinks that she trusts, we're starting to see behind the scenes that she is not loyal, or at least there's a betrayal going on that, Ka or there's actions going on that Kaguya would view as a betrayal, even though I would argue that it's not entirely up to this individual's like this individual, there's outside influence on this individual. This isn't just a nasty individual seeking retribution. This is a individual in a bind who is having to do actions, having to do things that Kaguya would consider betrayal. And Kaguya doesn't know, and this has been going on for quite some time. So that introduction, that betrayal really threw me for a twist and I think is going to be a huge part on volume 20, which I haven't, or volume 19, sorry, that I haven't actually read yet. And I'm continually impressed by the author's ability to keep things fresh. So when this series started, I was very concerned that there wasn't going to be enough content to keep the series going for this long, but the author is able to create new scenarios, create new plot lines, move the plot along in a way that keeps things very, very fresh. And this betrayal is going to keep things fresh. It's going to be an interesting twist, an interesting dynamic, along with many of the other things like Shirogane going overseas to go to college and the continuation of Kaguya and Kaguya Shinomiya and Shirogane's relationship. 
So the author has been really able to keep things fresh throughout the book and keep the plot moving along and that was something I was worried about at the beginning but I definitely should not have been worried about. So I have been loving this series. I think the author is very talented. I've spoken on this point in many of my other reviews. The ability to go from emotional hard-hitting romantic scenes to scenes that are causing me to laugh so hard I have to put the book down and wipe tears from my eyes is definitely a talent. I feel like some people only have one half of the equation and that doesn't make them worse writers. If you only like to write or are really only good at that emotional romantic romantic, hard-hitting sort of stuff versus maybe you're only really good at making people laugh. I think you're allowed to just have a skill, but I think it's kind of maybe more rare for someone to be good at both and for someone to be able to juggle both in the same series so skillfully. I did look up this author, which is Aka Akasaka on Wikipedia, which I don't know if that's the best source, but it is a good source. And Wikipedia, the Wikipedia article said that the author was going to retire from manga and start doing writing. So he was going to switch from one kind of genre to another. And well, I think that's a great win because people are going to be able to read his great work. And I feel like he's going to be an asset in the whatever genre he chooses to work in. I'm definitely sad that he's no longer going to be doing manga. Um, I do wonder if he's going to have any of his work translated from Japanese to English because I would love to read his writing because I do think he's a very very talented author and I think that his level of work displays his ability to go through all these different things from the funny moments to the sad moments to the stressful moments to even a betrayal which was not something I saw coming but he was able to work it in and and introduce it in such a way that was very skillfully done that just made me again more impressed with the author. I've been really impressed with the series with the level of writing in this series and I yeah I have nothing but good things to say and I have to highly recommend this series if for whatever reason you have not read it yourself or if you've only watched the anime like I know my sister has only watched the anime but I've been encouraging her to also read the series because I think the series is really really funny and well done as well. I highly recommend volume 18 if you are looking for a series to start, I highly recommend this series. If you have any thoughts or comments you would like to share, put it in the comments below. I would love to receive them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.